homo, but I wasn't gonna lose. Cause I wasn't gonna suck dick for no views. You see me if you see me. It's not the fuck it. I had to get a hold of myself. No hey, what's up, guys? No trust, this no time around, we are bringing you guys to the top safeties no in Madden 16 starting for ranked players. Um, ranked matches, I mean. And again, like I said before in the other videos, this is for ranked match. This is not for mutt. I know, like, me and a lot of you guys are, like, really into mutt. We don't really play a lot of ranked match. Nobody really plays a lot of ranked match. Um, I will be this year, but, you know, so you mutt players that are just strictly mutt. And even the draft champions, you know, for that, I, I'm waiting to see how, how good that's going to be. Um, we don't really have to worry about too much about these stats, but just letting you know what they're going to be. And coming up, number one is 96 overall, Eric Weddle. 96 overall, Eric Weddle, man, coming in at number one. And they give him 84 speed. So like I said before, we were talking about how they're really like downing everyone's speed to start Madden 16. Eric Weddle, 84 overall speed. And they even gave him a 77 hit power. That's, uh, he hits like, he hits like a top tier cornerback, like a top tier physical cornerback, like a 77 hit power, what? You know, Eric Weddle, I, I think deserves a little bit more, like he ain't no Cam Chancellor, but a 77 hit power? They did good by giving him a 94 play recognition though, if you guys can see right here, 94 play recognition is a 91 zone coverage. So they're definitely, you know, look looking out for him right there. But a 77 hit power though, uh, with the 84 speed. Uh, I mean, again, he is a safety, so he plays, he plays um, eight to ten yards away, or well, eight to twelve yards away, right? So he has a cushion. Good, he has cushion. So he can be able to keep up with the receivers with 84 speed because not a lot of people have 90 or above speed in this game. So speaking on having 90 speed, here we go with coming up in number two, 95 overall, Earl Thomas. And he has 90 speed. And they gave him a 72 hit power. See, like, Earl Thomas ain't that... like. He's one of those guys that's not afraid to go tackle, but I feel like, I mean, I'm glad they gave, you know, Eric Weddle more hit power than Earl Thomas, but, hey, 72 hit power, I think it should have been a little more than that, you know, nothing too crazy, but, you know, 72 hit, 72 hit power, maybe like a 77 hit power and give, like, Eric Weddle, like, a, at least an 85, I don't know, that's just me, though, let me know what you guys think, um, a 75 tackle, hmm, and 83 play recognition and 83 man coverage. So they don't even show his zone. Instead, they show his tackling, which no one cares about because they don't, probably don't want to give him, um, you know, they, they always like to not give you everything you want. Like, you know, like there's some positions and some people that they didn't even give you their speed rating. You know, like Calvin Johnson, they didn't even give Calvin Johnson speed rating. But yeah, 90 speed here, but 75 hit power, who cares about that? And then that's not even a good tackling rating to begin with, and you're a 95 overall, so 83 plate recognition, think he should have got more than that. 83 man coverage as a safety is definitely really good, and especially in Madden period when it comes to ranked match, like, I know this year in Madden, well, Madden 15, it was disgusting for Madden um, ranked matches for guys to even try and play man coverage it was just horrible guys would get shredded there's a lot of man beaters and then you got guys that just can't play man coverage so I mean it's, it's good to see that they gave Earl Thomas an 83 man coverage now coming at number three now I think personally I think Earl um, Cam Chancellor should have been higher but they gave Cam Chancellor a 94 overall. He's six foot three. <laughs> and they say it here, one of the biggest and tallest DBs in the NFL. 97 hit power. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Everybody knows Cam Chancellor comes and he lays the wood. 97, it shows right here, 97 hit power. 
that's gonna be amazing. You already know, Legion of Boom, man, they doing anything always, man. And but they give him an uh, 83 speed. Uh, 83 speed. I'm to have this much hit power though. 83 speed. I mean, and he's six foot three on top of that. You're gonna deal with that 83 speed. But I feel like they should have gave him more speed than that. They gave him an 85 tackling. I think that should have been more because he definitely, you know, not only does he lay the boom, but he makes sure you get down to the ground. So I think the tackling should have been more. But again, this is ranked match and this is day one. This is day one sats. 77 play rec for Cam. That should have been way more. Um, 64 man coverage. Eh. 83 zone. That's that's decent for for a big hitting safety and a safety that you would probably end up wanting to use her anyway. You know, like if this was Madden 15, you would use her this camp chancellor. And that's because two things. One, the 97 hit power and two, the six foot three height for Madden 15, because you would ball hawk and, you know, depending on how Madden um, 16 is, this is, again, the same player that you would still want to use her because of the 97 hit power and the six foot three height, you know, so depending on how OP ball hawk is, you know, I, I think it's still going to be the same. They didn't tweak it or nothing like that. I think they should take it out entirely. You guys know how I feel about the ball hawk. I think they should go back to the original way that if you held triangle the whole time or why if you're on Xbox, your guy slowed down and he ran like this. You know, he just ran like a fucking robot. You, know, you slow down completely. You should not be able to do that. You it should to catch an interception should be a timing thing. You shouldn't be able to just hold down the button and go. You know what I mean? And just wherever your guy's gonna react. And they drag you, they suck you into the ball too. Like I can show so many examples of players the, a guy usering someone and let's say I have a streak route and I have a slant route. He'll try and jump the slant route, but because he's holding triangle or Y, he'll stop when the ball is thrown and then just jump up. Like if I try and throw a bullet pass to that streak or something like that, and he'll jump up and get it. And it's crazy because that's not even the route that he was even trying to jump. You know what I mean? Like he was still trying to jump the, uh, the slant route. You know, and you'll see him, you'll see his, um, his feeding, um, his, his footing, his feeding, his footing go inside, but then when the ball's thrown, he'll stop on a dime and then react to the pass. And that's just not realistic at all. You know, I really, really think they should take it out entirely, but we know it's not going anywhere. EA caters to, you know, um, the casuals, the, you know, the guys that aren't really good at the game, most of them don't even know football like that you know they just like oh my favorite player is this guy and they you know that's it they you know this is my favorite team and then when some other team wins the super bowl this is my favorite you know that, that's who they cater to really um uh, and us you know hardcore football fans and shit we just have to deal with the fuckery but yeah so cam chancellor beast just i think they should give him more speed and more play rec but Coming in number four, we have 94 overall Devin McCourty. Now, Devin McCourty is a beast, man. Like, I remember even using his shitty cards. Well, not shitty cards, but his low overall cards in Madden 15. Dude's just a monster. He can cover everything. And it shows clearly here in the stats. And this is ranked match stats, too. So imagine on Mutt when, you know, they come out with his cards. He gave him a 90 speed. That's great for ranked match because you guys see they don't really give anybody fucking speed. He has a 90 speed, 87 play rec, 96 zone, and 87 man coverage as a safety that is phenomenal. That's cornerback coverage right there. This is cornerback level coverage right here, and he's a safety. So, you know, hopefully, like I said, with ranked matches this year, hopefully it's not a big thing that, like, you should be able to do what you want. If you want to play man, you can play man and not be just destroyed because of it like in ranked match last year madden 15 you ran zone and you ran zone only and that was it you run man it's a wrap kiss that ass goodbye you're getting torched you know what i mean you could not run man hopefully they change that this year i'm not saying make man just op or whatever but what i'm saying is balance it out like give players 
the ability to be able to cover, you know, and that's 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 what drew me to Mutt even more than you know the high overalls. You get new cards and stuff like that. You're excited. You build your team up, but the ability that you can do whatever you want. I can play man, I can play zone, I can blitz, I can do this, I can do that, I can do whatever I want. And if I'm better than you, not my team, but if I'm better than you, then for the most part, you know, the Madden equalizer, we're not going to get into that. But um, I would beat you. In ranked match, it's totally different. Depending on the team you have, well, I mean, uh, Mutt is the same way. You know, like if I'm a 99 overall and you're like an 85 overall. You're going to struggle unless that Madden Equalizer kicks in. But we're not talking about that right now. You know, but there's a lot of things you can and can't do. But it depends on your team. But the same thing with Mutt. I mean, the same thing with Rank, though. But it don't matter what team you had in Madden 15. You could not play man. You know, you could try your luck with the Seahawks. But you're still going to get shitted on, you know, in man coverage for the most part. Just watch out for Sherman. But even he gets torched in man coverage sometimes. Um, most times in ranked and sometimes in Mutt too. Even with his 99 and his ultimate legend 99. Still get torched. But hopefully they tone that down and you know they fix it a little bit. People are able to do a lot more in ranked matches. That's what I'm looking forward to. Hopefully they, they fix that man. Um, because in real life football, they're always mixing it up. You know what I mean? Like, they're not always cover three, cover three, cover three, cover three, cover three. Like, in Madden, everybody just runs cover three, cover three, stop, cover three, stop, cover three, stop. You know, um, they're always switching in man, zone, zone blitz, man blitz, all out blitzes. You know what I mean? Like, they're always switching it up. So, for and for the most part, that, that should tell you that these linebackers, these safeties, these corners, sometimes can fucking cover. You know? And it's just in Madden, just you can't play man coverage. You will, if it's not Mutt. If it's ranked, you will get torched in man coverage. So hopefully they fix that and just not make man coverage so shitty for ranked teams. Because like I said, Mutt is totally different. I could sit and fucking, especially with the team I have, I could sit in man coverage all day and call it a, call it a day. Put my fucking safeties in like blue routes like light blues fucking to guard the flats or purple routes you know and call it a day and that's it and just roam the field the middle of the field you're not gonna bomb me deep up, up over the top unless you like face catch me or something like that but you know other than that everything's fucking covered even my linebackers is shitting on your wide receivers and sticking with your tight ends and your running backs out the backfield and everything like that for the most part even the man beaters are not really beating and destroying my players most of the time you know what i mean so Everything I'm saying is for ranked match. And coming in 95, coming in 5th place, I mean, 93 overall, Harrison Smith. Now, this guy is foot three, also. Big safety. You know, and he had a career high interceptions and sacks. They gave him an 86 speed. 86. They gave Cam Chancellor 83, but they gave him 86. 85 play recognition now if I go Didn't they shit on yes yeah, 77 play recognition you gave Harrison Smith 85 play rec, but gave cam Chancellor 77 Not saying Harrison Smith is a bum or anything, but 77 makes no sense. Okay, whatever um, Then they gave him 75 man coverage and said um, 92 zone 92 hit power so, like, again, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm happy to see that they're building up the man coverage a little bit, letting these safeties and these linebackers and stuff be able to cover even just a little bit because I just, I, I don't want to see ranked match go in the same route that it went for Madden 15 where you just could not play man coverage in ranked because you would get torched and it's a wrap. You know, you couldn't mix it up. You had to, you could mix it up with zone wise and you can mix it up blitz wise, but it had to be zone. It could, you couldn't switch it up with man and zone, you know? And that's one of the big problems with ranked matches. A lot of these players could not cover um, in man coverage and you would just get torched and you were, you were stuck playing zone no matter what. I mean, you could play man. 
hopefully you send like an A gap or a B gap or something. If you're like a, if you're a better player, then you could get away with man coverage a little bit if you're sending like an A gap or a B gap. But if you're a regular player or if you're not a cheese dick, you know, and you're just really trying to play and you're playing straight up, you can't, you fucking, you can't play man coverage. You definitely can't play man coverage. Even for the most part, if you're a good player and you're playing another guy that's a good player, you can't play man coverage because you send that A or B gap and you're in man coverage, he's gonna he's gonna know how to slide his line, he's gonna know who to block, he's gonna know who to send in motion and then call hike when he's in the right position so he can block extra and then he has some man beaters across the field and you're gonna get torched again. You know, it's just, dude. And then you got the unbumpable, so if you're pressing in man, you get just straight destroyed. This. It's a lot of things, man. Like I said, in ranked match, you really could not play man coverage, and that's a big problem with ranked. So let me know what you guys feel. Let me go. Let me go. How you guys feel about this top five, man? Who you guys would have liked to see in, in here? And they didn't even put. You know, so a big thing that I, I noticed is you know they were putting players that didn't play last year, and they were putting players that you know were injured last year and stuff like that. Why was it um, Eric Berry in here? That's that's. I, I was surprised, especially with you know the whole thing with Eric Berry and you know what he had to go through, and now he's back for this year, you know, and he's cleared by all doctors and stuff, and he's ready to go this year. Um, I'm surprised to, that I didn't see Eric Berry up here in the top five. I would like to see his overall though this year definitely, and the fact that the fifth um, slot for the top five is a 93 overall tells me that Eric Berry is going to be under 90 overall and again with them putting players high overalls just because they're big names and they either um, couldn't play last year or they were injured last year or whatever happened last year you know they didn't play or, or whatever they didn't do as good or whatever they were still high overalls I'm surprised that they didn't do the same with Eric Berry you know and put him a high overall even though, you know, the things that he's gone through and stuff like that. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one.